So after traveling for two and a half hours, we finally made it to Osaka. Hi guys, welcome to our part 2 of our Tokyo to Osaka vlogs. I hope you guys enjoyed the holidays, Christmas and New Year and I hope this was a very special time for all of you guys and your families. So, nagpapatuloy tayo sa trip natin dito from Tokyo to Osaka and naisip ko na ipakita muna sa inyo yung mga amenities nitong ating Shinkansen or ang tinatawag na bullet train dito sa Japan. So, kung nakikita nyo how clean and orderly yung uh, Shinkansen natin. And as you can see, they have separate wash areas and toilets na available para sa mga passengers ng Shinkansen. Kung titignan nyo, um, very similar siya sa airplane na uh, wash area or lavatory. Kompleto siya, meron pang uh, diaper changing area, meron siyang toilet, meron siyang wash basin, meron din siyang vanity mirror, and everything is very clean. So, if you need to really go or for some reason kailangan yung um, gumamit ng uh, restrooms while on the trip or on the travel, hindi kayo magdadalawang isip na gamitin ito kasi guaranteed super linis ang mga laboratories dito sa Shinkansen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Let's continue with our vlog. Ililift nyo ha. Ililift nyo ha. Ililift nyo. Okay, we're heading off. Nandito na tayo sa Shin Osaka Station. Okay, so mahangin, malamig. Um, kailangan muna namin i-figure out kung saan kami uh, kailangan bumaba. Dahil kailangan pa namin... Oh, dito pala sa kabila. So, kailangan pa namin sumakay ng isa pang train going to our hotel. Ito yung ano, uh, Delica Station. Uh, you can buy food na pwede mong baunin sa loob ng Shinkansen. Okay, so uh, we are going sa JR Lines. <clears throat> para makapunta tayo doon sa station ng uh, train. Wait lang ha. Charlie, can you switch tayo? Hold the bottle. Okay, so medyo pahirapan dahil kailangan ibaba yung uh, luggage dito sa Hagdan. Medyo busy ngayon kasi past 5 na kami. The time is um, 6 o'clock actually. So expect na maraming tao dito sa Shin Osaka Station. Okay, so titignan ni Mami kung saan tayo kailangan pumunta to take the train papuntang Osaka Station. Ha? Um, sige. So, since nagugutom na daw sila, uh, we decided na kumain muna. Pero hindi ko alam kung saan nila gustong kumain. Grabe tao. Tignan mo. Constantly moving. They're constantly moving. So.
so we'll 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 try to see if where we can uh, go get a a bite to eat. I don't know if it's in here or outside the train stations. Check nito. Uh, ano daw siya? Uh, Suzuki base. Ganda talaga ng mga K-cars dito, you know? Cute. Gusto ko magkaroon yan eh, soon. Paano kaya? <laughs> Suzuki base, ayan no? Suzuki base So, finally we were able to figure out where the trains are going to Osaka station and uh, we decided to forego our meals and uh, take the train ride first before getting a bite to eat. Ito na yun. Ito na yun. Ito na yun. Osaka. Ayan o Himeji via Maibara Tapos bababa tayo ng ano, one stop Lift, lift So as you can see, the trains are really packed as of this time and it's really, really uh, very important for you to guys have a, a face mask. Uh, here in Japan, medyo um, mas gusto nila na nakamask sila to protect themselves and also to protect others. So, uh, kailangan maging sensitive kayo doon because if you don't wear a mask, dyan sa mga public places na yan, medyo iba ang tingin sa inyo ng mga Japanese so it's better for you to be protected at the same time and um, kailangan respetuhin nyo rin or respect the local people's you know thinking or yung mentality nila so we're on our way to Osaka station we need to catch another subway uh, train station going to our hotel And so after a few minutes and a few station stops dito sa ating sinakyan na JR line, we are finally ready to get off the trains and find a place where we can eat. Kasi gutom na gutom na rin kami and uh, the time is around 7 o'clock. Um, medyo hindi naman kami kumain sa bullet train or sa Shinkansen. So it's been two and a half hours plus probably mga 30 minutes of uh, finally getting down the Shinkansen and then looking around kung saan ang kailangan mapuntahan before we were able to ride this JR line going to the station and figuring out where is the next subway is but as you can see maraming tao and we are finally giving up kakain na muna kami since na low bat kami uh, kailangan namin at saka gutom na kami we decided to eat na muna so ito yung food namin
baliktad yung ginawa niya. Sinipalit niya yung pork. Ay, yung cutlet from the... Tikman na natin yung food. Let's start with the salad. Pwede mong pa nabigay ako niyan. Hindi ko alam kung saan. Wala akong space niya. You want some, Charlie? Hello. Yung jacket mo baka maano ha? Magumihan. Sa my phone. Sarap ng salad. Tikman din natin tong appetizer ni. Hindi ko alam kung ano to eh. Pero it looks like onions and radish. Pickles. Medyo matamis. Appetizer nga siya. natin which is yung ang um, in order ko kasi is fried chicken curry so ito yung jumbo plate nila meron siyang rice meron siyang fried chicken parang yung anong tawag doon anong tawag doon sa fried chicken nila karage parang karage and then umaapaw siya ng curry sauce so try na natin Masarap siya. Hmm. Mild lang yung curry sauce niya. Pero masarap. Titikman ko yung heavy sauce nung piccolo beef. Hmm. So yung piccolo beef para siyang mi lasa ng ano curry and that at the same time para siyang para siyang may tomato spicy din tsaka spicy rin siya eto hindi katulad niya medyo ano lang sakto lang yung curry sauce niya yung lasa ay niyan na kay sige na ako nimo na yes fine Importante yung rice. Oh, I'll give something. No, I don't want. I can't do one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ako din ito. Patitin ako ng pieces mo. Masarap din yan. Okay naman siya. Spicy. 
So, Pero, ito na. Ang hinahanap ko yan. So, ito naman. Chicken karagi naman siya. So, tikman natin kung ano lasa. Sarap na gusto. Ang sarap. Mm. Like wow, ang sarap ng chicken. Sarap, sarap. Okay to. Masarap siya, masarap. So good. So, kung pupunta kayo dito sa Japan, don't skip the curry nila. Kasi yung curry game nila, it's good. And just to give you a background, kaya nagkaroon ng curry ang mga Japanese kasi. It was introduced by uh, the Indians. Um, Indian traders before because of the spices and uh, they made it and embrace it their own, as their own. Ayan, nasimot na. Gutom din kami kasi yung biyahe ilang hours yung Shinkansen natin? Two and a half, pero all in all, hanggang makarating ng hotel for something. So, on paper, yung Shinkansen from Narita Express, from Narita Air Airport, papunta dito sa Osaka, on paper, is two and a half hours. So, bayad na tayo, pero hindi ko nga lang alam kung magkano to. So, punta na lang tayo dun sa counter. Let's go! Let's go to the counter and pay up! Sixty yen. So, um, meal for me, meal for Charlie and K Mami. Total of three thousand nine hundred and sixty yen. Okay, let's go. Then at our hotel. Meanwhile, okay. So we have finally arrived at the hotel, and uh, this is the reception. This is along the main road if you uh, let me show it to you this is along the door along the main road going out you can find a lot of cars and buses in here so it's not that too it's not that busy but it's conveniently located along the along the main road so from higobashi station which is right there if you can see yung after 7-eleven 
andito na siya. So, it's it's cold, so let's get back inside. And uh, hopefully we could get our keys. Okay, so we finally made it to our hotel and uh, this is an accomplishment. So this is the place that we'll be staying for the next couple of days. Um, and then um, we will go and check out the sites that Osaka, Kyoto, Nara has to offer for us. So we'll be here in, within the next, uh, probably up until today's the 23rd, 4, 5, 6, So we'll be here in the next four days, technically five days. And uh, we'll be staying here and uh, uh, we're gonna check out the places that we can go check while we are here in the greater Osaka area. So, puputuli na namin dito yung video natin for today. It has been a long journey. We thought that it would be easy um, going to Osaka from Narita. And it is complicated. Lalong lalo na dun sa mga first timers. So, if you guys are going here in Osaka um, for the first time, please kailangan yung i-plan out ng mabuti kasi there is siguro mga 30 to 40 percent na magkakaroon kayo ng delays sa journey ninyo dahil merong ligaw factor. Um, um, well, we are actually um, primarily blaming yung immigration nila when we got here in Japan kasi sobrang tagal. Um, it took us around siguro more than an hour just to uh, pass immigration. Tapos, um, we had to fall in line for like siguro mga 30 to 45 minutes para naman ma-activate yung JR Pass. So, I don't know kung uh, because of the holidays yun yung factor why it is delayed so much yung process nila or is it just they're, they're adjusting um, after pandemic so we still don't know the reason but I hope uh, you know people from the airport need to take a look at it para ma streamline nila lahat ng mga um, systems nila and get back on track so Ayun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It it's it, it has involved a lot of traveling today, and we we are really really tired. Um, we're going to see you tomorrow for our next video. I hope you guys love this. If you do, you wanna watch uh, more of this uh, journey, dito sa Japan for the holidays. Uh, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon para notified kayo for other videos coming your way habang nahandito kami for the next few days. So, this has been Bud TV. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next episode. Maraming maraming salamat.